Back in April 2010, my son Brian told Sean, you need to get serious and find a wife and think about your future and have kids. Daria, you are his future and I love you. I probably met Sean a few times before the first time I realized that he was serious about my sister. I've known my sister long enough that I realized that the way she spoke of him, the way her kind of gaze shifted whenever she talked about him, I knew even before I met him that, that this was probably going to be the real deal. exchanging of vows and by the giving of rings with the authority of the church and with great great joy I pronounce you husband and wife yeah. <laughs> like they were alone in the room, and pretty much were. <laughs> They're the only ones dancing, and, and obviously you've seen the grand result that came from that. Brand new Mr. and Mrs. Sean McNeil. Daria, you're the most amazing person I've ever met. I hope you understand that. Your smile is welcoming, even though you think it's awkward in pictures. <laughs> you have such a warming laugh, which I try to bring out every day. Your eyes are piercing, your touch is soothing, and you make me laugh in your own unique and special way. From the moment you, we met and you asked me to dance, I knew that there was something special between us. <laughs> this wasn't a dancing place and Sean asked me to dance and we danced like no one was watching as our friends stood by and awkwardly watched <laughs> in embarrassment. But we didn't care because it was just us and no one else mattered. From that moment on, I knew I could be as carefree and me the way I wanted and normally would be. When life is good, you make it better. When life seems unbearable, you help me breathe. I can't wait to continue our adventure together. I love you.
promise to love life, to have no fears, because we'll do it together and make every day an adventure. want to dance. You make me want to shout it from the rooftops. I love you.